Hi Aquarius, we're going to go ahead and get right into this reading. Once again, it's very, very general. This is for February the 14th. So let's go ahead and get right into this. I'm going to drink a little bit of water, but everything you can about me is down below. If you want to book a personal reading with me, all right, um, it's down below. If you want an emergency reading, it is 24 hours. The link is also down below. Um, if you want to check out my co-star, my pattern, my other channels, my makeup tutorials, my wig videos, all that stuff is down below. Or you can check out the features tab and also the community tab on my channel. All right, uh, that was, I know that was a lot. High heels on my tippies. If you a Nicki Minaj fan, that's what I wanted to say. Are you a Nicki fan? Okay. But anyways, also thank you to everybody who's been telling me happy birthday. Happy birthday to all the Aquarius, okay? Baddies, bros, babes, and, you know, everybody in between. So let's get into this, y'all. Also, happy Valentine's Day. Also, if you're by yourself on Valentine's Day, please don't make that an excuse to not do nothing for yourself or to make this day special for yourself. That includes getting yourself some flowers, getting yourself some chocolates. They're only $8 from Walmart. You know, getting yourself your favorite meal. You go crab boards, $40. You know, um, watching you a good movie, getting you a nice little bubble bag, get some dollar teals. Or even if you, even, uh, even if you do got somebody, go out, have time, enjoy yourself. It costs nothing or it costs little to nothing to love yourself. All right, but enough of that. We're going to go ahead and get into this reading. You know what it's about, boo. All right, um, so let's go ahead and pull your energy first. You know, we always going to start with the Aquarius energy first. All right, so I cut the deck. I see the Emperor and the Nine of Wands. Okay, let's see. Let's see Aquarius energy here, Spirit. We got the Death card so far. Scorpio energy. We got the Fool card, Air Sign energy. Excuse me, y'all. And then we got the two of swords. I'm hearing, do you see what I see? At the bottom of the deck here, we have the eight of wands. Communication coming, incoming communication, travel, meeting up, text message call, email, plane arriving, you know, something of the sort. And then we have the ace of cups, offers, energies, opportunities, uh, you know, things of that nature. And it's so funny, 210, that number could be a significance. I know that's my birthday. I just seen it on the timer. Um, but what's going on here as well is I feel like with the Ace of Cups, the Death card, the Fool card, and the Two of Swords, um, push pause the creep. And I did pre-shuffle before I got into this reading as well, just giving you guys a heads up. But the thing is that, who is Barbara and who is Shirley? Are you Barbara? Are you Shirley? Or is you the man in between? Or the woman if you're a woman but what's going on here Aquarius is that with the magician card somebody is trying to manifest or trying to get they cake and eat it too or somebody's trying to manifest two different people two different lifestyles a lot going on like I'm getting so far going like we got a lot of Scorpio energy here a lot of air sign energy so a lot of communication a lot of back and forth of text call email screenshots videos receipts if that makes sense because who you really talking to or who have you been talking to? Who been getting your time, your energy, your efforts? Because either you ain't been giving them all to somebody, Aquarius, or they ain't been giving them all to you. Um, But I feel like with the Ace of Cups here, the Death card, either you already found this out or you're going to find this out. Yeah, somebody here is trying to make you to be their sister wife. Or if you're a man, somebody's trying to make you one of their many, many husbands. This is definitely a Nola darling. But this is what's going on, um, Aquarius. Let's go ahead and pull the energy with the Ace of Cups. This is also giving me that, that song, Who Is It by Michael Jackson. Who is it? Yeah, somebody being a player. Is it my brother? Who is it? That's how the song goes. All right, I know I'm a little off tone, a little off key. All right, that's okay, baby. But yeah, with the Four of Cups, this is like giving energy of like somebody isn't happy just being uh, with one person. Yeah, with the Ace of Cups, the Four of Cups, and the King of Wands, somebody isn't happy with being with one person because if you got one ace of cups king of wands four of cups you're unsatisfied okay or you are contemplating your next move or what you should be doing or you're this is not motivating you enough all right or you could be trying this person could be rejecting you okay or you're re rejecting them but somebody here has a love or a lover a boyfriend a girlfriend a wife a husband somebody has something like that already but they're unsatisfied because somebody feels like they're more than merry or fat meat ain't greasy somebody could have recently literally just ate a crab boy or live close to the water or somebody could like blue crabs all right um but yeah whoever this person is they have a very unrealistic um i have the car little shop of horrors here like the movie from the 80s with uh tia not tia um the two girls on martin i forgot uh pam and gina they only i forgot their names 
Tashina Arnold and the other girl. But what's going on here is like somebody is like has an unrealistic view, if that makes sense. 505, 505, the angel number could be a significance. But, yeah, somebody has an unrealistic view of how things are supposed to go. Like, you know, if you're into polyamorous relationships, okay. If you're into concubine stuff, okay. If you're into having sister wives or or, or brother husbands or whatever you got going on, okay, cool. You know, I'm not trying to make anybody feel any type of way. But in this in this arena, this you know, it's fine if everybody knows or everybody's on point or on target, on kilter. Everybody understands this. But it's different. If the other person don't know, or the other party don't know, or somebody has to find out, or this and that, da, da, da. yeah, I feel like the death card. There could be some type of change in somebody's energy towards you here, Aquarius, or like there could be some type of stagnation, okay, or somebody's like avoiding you, avoiding talking about something or something of that nature. Also, oh, uh, what's that? What's that movie where that skull be on fire and it be on a motorcycle? I forgot what that's called. It's like a action movie. Y'all know what it is. I think it's like three different kinds of the movies. Um, and the skull be on fire to do where he wear like a little leather jacket. There could be a significance here. All right. But yeah, I feel like whoever this person is, three pentacles, they feel like more, they feel like they would rather collaborate with more than one person or sleep with one, more than one person. This person's not committal or like they refuse to have just one commitment. If that makes sense. Yeah. Somebody's like, you know, why just have one commit one when you can have two or two people committed to you at the same time? You're eight of swords. This could be somebody here who don't care about who they're trapping. Like one person could be trapped dealing with that person or whoever they're dealing with currently, they're trapped with this person. They could have a baby with them, okay? Or they could feel trapped with you or feel like, you know, they don't know how to commit or they feel like they're imprisoned or they can't do what they want. They can't say what they want or they can't get their release or they can't accept the situation for what it is. Somebody just wants to collaborate with another person. Yep. Somebody either they just cannot commit uh, commit so they have a weak Mars or a weak Venus, okay? And that could be like in a water sign, okay? Yeah, people who have water sign Venuses and water sign Mars, they're kind of weak when it comes to commitment or standing on their word. And me personally with a Pisces Mars, um, that's definitely true to a certain extent. So like Pisces Mars, you know, I have a water sign Mars. So sometimes when you do say certain things, People either won't believe you, they won't listen to you, or like more importantly, you could say something, but then you could be like, Did I say that? Like, I don't think I said that. Like, take it back or something. All right, or change the rules of the game or something like that could be a significance here. I'm also hearing that song, Respect the Game by Meek Mill. Because when it's all said and done, and you back at the bottom, they're going to treat you like you're worthless. Respect the game, fuck the fame. Fuck you, fuck you, and you're watching your little chain. Like, somebody could also be up with money. Or somebody could have been up with some money, but now their funds are lower. Now they don't have money. Or they're going to lose their money here for all this shit. Um, or somebody trying to take care of or spend money on two people and they can't fucking do it. Yeah, I feel like with a fool card here, somebody may think that you're the fucking fool Aquarius here with the Ten of Swords. Like, but then it's like whoever the fool is the person here who bows out first. You know how people do that thing when they're in relationships or when they're married or whatever it is. And it's like whoever uh, stopped fucking with the man or stopped fucking with the woman first, they're the fool or they're the loser. Whoever hangs in the longest, they're the winner. Like, some people have that warped mindset, but the one who wins is always, oh, always the one who got away. Okay, and I feel like what's going on. Yeah, five of swords. She may end up getting into an argument with this person. So if they've been arguing with you, just know that somebody's not going to surrender their player ways. And it's so funny. I just got a Facebook. Somebody wrote me on Facebook. Somebody could also live in Doraville. All right, they don't got nothing to do with it. But um, yeah, I feel like somebody has went too far. Like this could be somebody's urge, or somebody could been doing this for a while, and you're about to get caught, or you're gonna catch them. If they're if they're not gonna get caught by you, and you already know about this, they're gonna get caught by a third party. This could be like their ex wife, their ex baby mama, their ex baby daddy, when their exes are fling or something. This old, okay, they're trying to make you play sister watch with this person, and I feel like this is interrupting your free will and everybody's free will in particularly, and you gotta pay up for that karmically. Okay, this is somebody here who like they just want their whatever they want or however they want things to work out. They want that shit to be served to them like that movie you just got served. Like this person here, they don't give a fuck about a disagreement, no argument, no this, no that because they feel like everybody's supposed to compromise. This person don't need to have no remorse for how nobody feel. In fact, these motherfuckers are supposed to be having remorse because it's all about them and them being satisfied in what they want. This person's also very fucking reckless and I feel like the risk they're taking is all based off of somebody else's naivety in this triangulation or in this mix. I literally just did the channel message on this triangulation shit earlier today on tiktok tiktok is in the description box or yeah down below 
But yeah, I feel like get somebody here who's trying to go against new get, new beginnings. Or like if you got into an argument with them or y'all get into a lot of arguments or they argue with somebody else, they come to you or they keep coming back. It's because this person is trying to make you play sister wife with somebody else. Or or brother, brother husband to somebody else if you're a man. Okay. But this is somebody here who like they think that they have so much self love that instead of rejecting the other person, instead of being loyal, instead of being unre uh, instead of being realistic about their wants, their needs, instead of being motivated to do the right thing or motivated to, you know, like re energize or get the spark back to whoever they're dealing with or reignite their happiness, they rather stagnate somebody else to uh collaborate with another person. Even though they're already collaborating with that person, they rather rather stagnate them because they feel like they're the victim in a situation or they're not getting what they want or, you know, they don't want to release that person because then they'll have nothing. So if the other situation work out, they'll have nothing. Instead, they're reevaluating re the playing field and more importantly, trying to survive or rise above what's already going on here. So then they can have somebody else as well. Yeah, I just feel like with the two of swords energy, this is going to be the truth that is revealed here. Or like this is the type of fake ass shit this person is on. Like the sun card, they make sure like, like they're happy all of a sudden or they're optimistic or they're in a great mood or, you know, whatever it is. But then they may have a, a tone switch where they're discontent or they're, min they're miserable. They're going through a mania episode or a depressive episode here all of a sudden. And you could be trying to figure out like what the fuck going on with you? This is what the fuck is going on with this person. Okay. Um. Yeah, I feel like with the Ace of Pentacles energy this is somebody here who like you could have been warned here this person has been warned about what they're doing they will be losing money they will be losing opportunities they will be going through scarcity or like i said their funds will be low they will take this hit but it will hit them financially if this person used to traveling or dating or eating out or doing all this stuff they're going to slowly but surely be able to not do this anymore they're going to be slowed down this person also may even go into a panic here because they're going to realize that the decisions that they made, they were warned and now they're created not only obstacles in their own life, but other people's lives. And they have to pay for all of that. They're going to be frustrated. They're going to be blocked in everything away, creatively, physically. They may even have something going on with a vision. All right. Um, but this is all that's going on. This is the crazy part about it. And then whoever the other sister wife is or the other person they're trying to make you play sister wife too that they're already dealing with. Yeah, I feel like what's going on with the five of wands, this person has already accepted their fate or they already know like, okay, I might as well compromise because this person is paying my bills or this person is the baby dad or the baby mom or this person is the uh, whatever it is or they have accumulated a lot or they're very wealthy. Okay, or they give me a place to stay, cherry card or they done bought me a car or they take me around or like somehow they have something they can hang over this person's head or control them. Even though the universe has put this person in a position to evolve, to grow or to create create new possibilities in this person's life they'd rather just live with the injustice here six of pentacles here because um this person could be very generous to them they could pay them off they could be fair when they want to or like they rather just be fair to this person because they've been paying this person karmic debt for so long they've been brainwashed for so long it's just like it is what it is all right but i'm seeing here with the four of wands energy um this person they're going to be given the escape route if they want it okay magician card all right but it's all if they want it but they can stay under this person's manipulation as well too but i feel like with the two of cups and six of wands this person just wants to win or more important they would just want to be successful they want to be somebody but they don't know who the fuck they are the tile card and high priestess and i thought this person could have took advantage of them because knight of wands two of wands they could have thought this person was living a certain lifestyle or they was somebody or they was taking actions to where it was like oh you passionate about this or you got goals you got plans you know you got a purpose you you know this person could have gotten discovered or they're uh, famous as well too this can go any type of way um but child this is what's going on Aquarius like we only 13 minutes into this shit but like I said this person is trying to make you or somebody else play sister wife okay let's go ahead and pull your cards Aquarius and see what this person is thinking about you yeah, I have heart stop, heart drop. Like, this could make your heart drop here and make your stomach feel some type of way. Or you could have felt this recently, but she was thinking, like, you know, maybe da 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 da. But, like, this person just wants to uh, attain you. They want to, uh, how do you say, uh, conquer you. Like, this is what excites them about you, Aquarius. This is somebody here who, like, yeah, with the four wands, they may have told you they wanted to build with you. They were very compassionate to you. All right, this person could act like they're so loving, they're so caring, and, you know, they could be trying to move or they're trying to will a fortune, get on their destined path or, you know, get fate on their side or this person's trying to become fortunate or make a big fortune or, um, you know, this person could be trying to go towards certain endeavors or build certain foundations or manifestations here. That could have been how this person pulled you in or with the full card. This, yeah, that's what's going on, but I feel like you could have, you could have had a perspective change about this person or you will be having one. 
Yeah, and I feel like with the Ten of Wands, you could just be like, mm, actually, this person is really stressful. They have a lot of responsibilities. They have a lot of burdens. Or they have a lot of shit that they're dealing with that I really don't want to deal with. Or I feel like you could have finally cleared your mind and honestly assessed this person. I feel like with the World card, you could have felt like, mm, this is cool and all, but like this is staying my growth. This person is staying my growth. Or like they're trying to tell me what to do or they're stressing me out. they putting their shit on me. Or like more importantly, um, this person could be like critical of you or trying to make you be overly critical of them or trying to like bro shit. Blow shit at a proportion that you saying like so they can be victimized or so you may not realize that they're always a victim but this person never really take accountability like that. This could be somebody here who's seven of wands. You could also realize that this person or you will realize that this person wants you to give in to them. They want you to be vulnerable to them so they can overwhelm you here or like they overwhelm you like this person could dump shit on you emotionally, energetically, traumatically, whatever it is but... I feel like this is what's going on with this person. Like, this could be, like, either how you're going to change your mind or how you change your mind about this person. Yeah, with the universe card, you could have felt like this person was somebody where it's like, okay, I got to make a decision. Or this person could You could have felt like this person was trying to blind you to some shit, but you didn't know what the fuck they was blinding you to. Or, like, what type of stagnation they were trying to create for you or what they was making them stagnant. All right, but let's see what your next moves should go ahead and be here because this is what, yeah, you're showing up as the Empress and the Five of Cups here. I feel like this person here is somebody here who, like, they want you to be codependent on them. They want to smother you here and block you out, all right, just so they can have you how they got that other person or vice versa. Take it how it resonates. Um... But, yeah, this is somebody here who, like, they don't want you to move on from them. Or, like, if they ever do something, they may want you to forgive them. But, like, they're really not sorry. All right? It's going to be somebody here who, like, they just take, take, take. Or somebody here who, like, they can't let go of nothing, nobody. They could be a hoarder as well, too. Or it's going to be somebody here who, like, over time, they just be on some whole other shit. Like, this person could, like, have a lot of doubts or, like, make you doubt them, make you mistrust them. Or make you view them like, mm, I don't know I, what I think about you. Yeah, three cups. You could also hear this person gossiping a lot about people or certain situations. But then when the tables change or certain things happen, they'll be on hush. Or, like, they don't hold the end of the bargain or certain shit be going on. But this person here. They may spend a lot of time alone as well or try to get you to spend a lot of time alone with them or uh, something like that or like exclude you from shit or they could be excluded from certain things that are going on in the community. All right. Because of their ways or people know them. But I feel like the page of this person feel like you're good news. You're a great person. Um, They, they even know if people was envious of you or people were being immature towards you. They will understand why. Also, this person could be, like, emotionally immature. Or, like, this person may think that just because you're young or you have a jovial energy or, like, what they heard about you makes you think that you're dumb or you're naive or you're slow. All right? So, this is why they also could be targeting you with this wheel, too. Yeah, with the eight of wands are reaching out to you. All right? But, yeah, queen of cups. I feel like you're calm, cool, and collected in the face of adversity, in the face of insecurity, or anything that makes you feel no type of way. All right, but yeah, Knight of Pentacles, this person just wants to attain you. They wanted you to be in a notch on their belt. Or like you are somebody who's supposed to free them from their nine to five or free them from their boring mundane life, including this other motherfucker they got going on over here, this other lover, the other person they're committed to. Like, whoo, child. These readings been interesting today, honey. They been interesting today. That's all I got to say about this person. This is kind of like what's going on here. I done told y'all what y'all should do. Or what's really going on. Let's go ahead and pull some more. Uh, let's pull some Oracle here. Alright. So let's go ahead and get some Oracle on the situation. I did want to pull. I'm going to actually use the Halloween Oracle. I, my boyfriend bought this for me y'all. When I tell y'all. I really don't even use this. But the Halloween Oracle. I, I wanted this shit so bad. I'm a car, babe. I wanted this shit so bad, so I made him buy it. It looked so cool. I love the graphics. But I haven't even used this, so bear with me. I will be interpreting through the book. But let's go ahead and see, all right, what advice for the Aquarius Collective on this situation in particular here. The first card we have is Dawn. It says the light after darkness. Okay, we also do have an owl on here. You know, owls are spiritual totems for like knowledge, secrecy, uh, you know, bad news, impending doom, etc. We also have scrying. So we have intuition here. Some of you guys could be a reader or you use a crystal ball. Me personally, I don't. But I have met people who have or they use like ashes and different things like that. Let's see. Last pool skirt. Anything else we left out? All right, and then we have night song, which is hidden talents. This is like you know ancestors. You know when you see red birds, you, you 
acknowledge them if you're from the country like me. All right, so the first one we have is Dawn. Okay, so bear with me, y'all. I I I probably use this deck probably three or less times. Um, yeah, this shit is like. Here we go. Okay, so Dawn. It says, should you receive the Dawn card, you're being reminded that there is always a fresh start and new beginning to be had. Changes unstoppable, and even the most difficult times will pass. No matter how devastating they may seem, hope is one of the most powerful motivating forces in the universe, and it's being indicated here. All right, so basically it's saying the journey from dark night of the soul to a bright and hopeful dawn is one of the deepest and most powerful heroes heroes path repeated over and over in mythology. So basically it's saying like, you know, this is the perfect time for if you want to cut this motherfucker off and not deal with them or whatever it is, go ahead. Or if you're in a situation where you're the one who you're uh, this person's wife or husband or girlfriend or whatever and this person trying to make you be a sister wife to somebody else and you have to set your fate, baby, it's time for you to get your ass up and leave. Okay, you have the, uh, the possibility to, remember I said that earlier, that person is going to be given a chance to leave or they can stay under this person's uh, manipulations up to them. That's what I said earlier. But we have scrying here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and look up this one. This, ooh, I just passed it. Let me see, let me see. Let me see, let me see. Okay, so it says the enemy of an effective the enemy of affecting scrying is distraction from both inside and out. Turn off your phone, electricity, life, anywhere you can see them, any music, or if you're scrying outdoors, take time to settle into the environment, listen to all the noises that your mind when I need to break focus later. All right, blah 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 blah. It says, should you pull the scrying card? I suggest you try it for starters. It also indicates that you may wish to develop your intuition further and not rely solely on the logical part of your mind for all the answers. True wisdom takes balance of logic and imagination and intuition for true wisdom here. So basically, saying like, if you want to try that shit out, you could try that shit out. You could do it with the person if you want to, but it's it's not really advised. If that makes sense here, we have night song. All right, this is hidden talents here. Give me one second. Here we go. All right, so night song. It says, should this beautiful but shy bird sing to you by appearing during your divination? Know that you must unwrap the present of yourself. Look, some of the gifts within yourself remain unopened. Time has come to step into your true potential and claim all your possibilities for yourself. There is no more time to waste, no more excuses, and this person is wasting your fucking time. Or you don't need your time to be wasted by this motherfucking person. All right, that's just period. That's the oracle. That's what you should do. All right, for some of you guys here. I wouldn't try to stay and work it out because, you know. Um, another thing that I realized or like, I meet a lot of, like, people that I befriend. I wouldn't even necessarily say befriend, but I would say spiritually assigned. I've been I've been seeing a thing to where people are like, their, their person is either, already, the person they're dealing with is already married or they have a kid with somebody else or whatever it is. And they're like so wrapped up in this. I'm like, you know, you can walk away if you want to, right? You know, this net, this net. And it's like, they could, but they don't. Like, And I'm not, I'm not talking about them or anything. I just feel like, you know. Everybody's path is different, and sometimes, me personally, I'm I'm a sign spirit. I'm spiritually signed to people all the time, so I've just been seeing a pattern with it. You know, some people are spiritually signed to one person, some are assigned to twenty people at the same time. Big groups, organizations. You know, we all have a part to play. Okay. But yeah, let's pull some cards now. Now that you know what to do, I just want to pull this person's energy. Because whoever this person is who's doing all this sister wife shit, this person thinks that they are a warrior and they are smarter than women or they are smarter than you and this person, that person. They have cultivated a positive belief about what they're doing, their life, and everything they have going on. This could be somebody here who like, um, also, this person may have some type of intuitive or spiritual gift but I feel like they don't use it for good. They use it for evil, okay? Or they use it for, like, to get their own way. This could be somebody here who, who for some of you guys here, they could have had spiritual gifts, but they also got these spiritual gifts taken away, or they will. But this is somebody here who thinks they are a warrior here, but they're, like, doing this warrior shit the wrong way. Or, like, it's an empowered person. They don't have a true sense of who they are, but they think they know who they are, all right? But, like, Kanye West says, everything I'm not made me everything I am. But they don't really apply to this person, okay? Also, whoever this, um, the person is who this person's wife or their nine to five or like, you know, the main chick or whatever it is, whoever is dealing with this person all the time. Um, I feel like that person here, they know that they have freedom of choice or this lesson involves them having freedom of choice. It says I have the free will to choose how I respond to any situation. I choose to respond with some clarity and understanding. I own, accept, and express my feelings unreservedly and I do not try to skip you with my own mind games. Like this person plays mind games with themselves. So they under this person's manipulation or they spell, then they under their own mind games and their own impression and all their own 
own preconceived notions because maybe they feel like, you know, if they're patient enough here, they can grow or, you know, they will get out of the situation or, you know, um, it says I develop quiet hope and expectations based on trust in both myself and a higher power. It's going to be somebody who prays a lot here. They can be religious or they feel like, you know, if they sit long enough or if they're in this long enough or they just surrender to everything and let it unfold at its own pace, something will work. But I feel like that's long overdue. That phase in this situation is long overdue. This person needs to take, take time to rest. All right. Rejuvenate their mind, their spirit, their soul and only consume foods, people, places and energies that are respectful to their body and give their body what they need to thrive. And it is not this situation. All right. Um, For those of you guys here to where they're trying to make you the sister wife and you're the third party, um, you know, I feel like you need to accept yourself and accept your life the way it is now or you could already be doing this here and you have some type of inner knowing here but i feel like you're just not connected to your sport team or you may not have caught the download like because this person was hiding this this yeah the truthfulness and sensuality i pray this being hold on hold on it says, I practice being aware of in, and enjoying my senses, being nourished and stimulated by the natural world, such as landscapes, people, weather, animals, and aromas and sounds. And you encourage yourself to express this. And I feel like this could be like, you're a part of this lust for life that this person has. And it says, I careful, I'm careful not to let my mind mislead me and avoid, uh, I avoid uh, gossiping about others and speaking to negative of others. And I feel like this person is not truthful. So I feel like if you're the third party it's not i wouldn't say it's not really your fault but this person is not truthful they just look good or they sound good i don't know if you ever seen that movie and the, the girl be like he's a good man savannah he's just going through a hard time and it's like no he's really not the nigga ain't shit all right like that's kind of the energy here all right but yeah this this is what's going on period um this is the reading i really hope you guys did love this and i hope it did resonate for you guys but um yeah this was this is kind of what's going on here Okay, or how the situation is going to unfold, which you need to know your advice and why everything is playing out the way it is or what everybody's POV is looking like, okay? But anyways, this was the reading. I hope to see you all later. Bye.